Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of identifying prime and composite numbers. This is standard 5.4a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 20 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So, Seth's homework is assignment is to write factor pairs that contain only composite numbers. And he wrote four factor pairs for the numbers 1 and 32. He needs to find factor pairs that contain only composite numbers. So these all come from 1 32. And what we need to do here is we need to first understand the difference between prime and composite. So when we are looking at prime factorization, we've got two different types of numbers. We're looking at prime and composite. So prime numbers has only two factors. And those numbers are 1 and itself. I'll show you what that means in just a second. So those are prime numbers. Composite are three or more factors. So it could be 3, could be 7. You never know. So let's take a look at these numbers. They all come from 132, so let's just start a little prime factorization. And I'm going to start with this first number pair right here, 6 and 22. So 6 times 22 makes 132. Now, when we get to a prime number, we are going to circle it. If it's composite, that means it can be broken up into smaller numbers. This is where we really need to know our multiplication facts. So 6... Well, I can think of uh, breaking that up into 2 and 3. I'm going to circle those because the only way to get to 2 is the 1 times 2. The only way to get to 3 is 1 times 3. So those are both prime numbers. 22, well, it's even. Let's break it up. That's 2 times 11. I know 2 is prime. And 11, well, the only way to get to 11 is 1 times 11. That's also prime. So I'm done here. So my factors for 32, 132, I would say... 2 squared, that means I get two twos times 3 times 11. So take a look what I found. I found that that's composite and that's composite. So I'm thinking that might be my answer. Let's check my other numbers. I'm going to take my 132. I'm going to start with 11 and 12. 11 and 12. Oh, look. 11's prime. So that's going to be a problem right there. 11 is prime. Because you can only get to 11 by 1 times 11. Now 12, I can do many different ways. 6 times 2, 4 times 3. Let's do 4 times 3. Now here's the cool thing about prime factorization. 3 is prime. 4 is going to be 2 times 2. No matter how you break it up, you're still going to get the same answer. 2 twos, a 3, and an 11. That's still the prime factorization of 132. So it's definitely not 11 times 12 because... 11 is prime. Let's see what happens if I do 3 times 44. Well, I can tell you right now, that is going to be problematic just because 3 is prime, because it only has two factors, 1 and 3. 44, I've got many options. Let's do 4 times 11. I could do 2 times 22. 11, once again, we're going to start seeing the same factors again and again and again, is prime. 4 is 2 times 2. 2 is prime. So there we go. I've got two twos, a 3, and an 11. But can't use this one because my 3 is prime. So 11 is my problem. 3 is my problem. You're probably looking ahead, and you're like, oh, that last one contains a 2. That's going to be a problem. Let's just double check, though. Just double check. 132, 2 times 66. I'm not sure of anybody who breaks it up that way. But yeah, 2 is prime. Can't break it up any farther down to 2 times 1. So let's do this 33 times 2. Let's do our other 2. And then that's going to get me 2 primes of 3 and 11. So no matter how we break it up, it's 2 twos of 3 and 11. None of these work because these 3 are all prime. 2, 3, and 11. This first one is the only one that works. That answer is F, 6 times 22.